Hi guys, today we are going to look at one more implementation of Olama using Page Assist. Now this Page Assist is an open source Chrome extension that provides a sidebar and a web UI for your local AI model. It allows you to interact with your models from any web page. So the essential features that you get, you have a web UI. So this allows you to interact with the model just like a ChatGPT website. You have a web UI page like this with the history of the chats that we have and the capability of new chat and selection of different models, which we will see in just a second. The next feature is we have a sidebar that can be opened on any web page. So for example, I have this Patreon page of mine and if I just go and open up the page assist side panel, then I can chat with this page itself. Next it allows you to chat with the web page and ask questions about the content. So what you can do now is that we can go through these uh, manual steps of installation or the shortcut to install it so if you go to page assist a web ui for local ai models you can add to chrome i've already added the extension and there you will get these things so page assist you get a sidebar and a web ui for local ai models we can utilize our own ai models running locally to interact with while you browse or as a web ui for your local ai models provided like olama the current features is that sidebar we have for various tasks this is support for vision models as well we have a minimum web ui for local ai models we have internet search chat with pdf on sidebar and new beta we chat with documents such as pdf csv text and md or docs file now the supported providers is olama at present but i'm sure we are working on other models as well so once we add this uh, as an extension what you can do is open up that extension and open up the page assist here so just like a chat GPT interface we have uh, provisions for new chat here we have the history of the chats uh, the previous history of the chats here we have the selection of models here so these are the models which are installed on my local system and uh, presently I've selected Llama 3 latest we can select a prompt we need to define the prompt in the settings we'll see in just a second and for the input types we can see we have the text input we have the speech to text or voice inputs here we have the option to upload images as well we have the internet search as well so let's go to the settings so this is the current chat model settings next uh, this is the github repo and the settings for this page now inside the settings we can see the general settings uh, so these are the settings the speech recognition system uh, is set to english here and in the text to speech settings we can select the voice uh, so i've selected the microsoft zero voice here and then there is provision of deleting the chat history exporting the chat history knowledge base and prompts and importing chat history knowledge base and prompts in the Olama settings, we have the default uh, link, which is 127.001 and 114.34 port. This is the embedding model for the RAG system, Nomic Embed Text. This is one of the models of Olama. By the way, if you want to install Olama, you can go to olama.com and go to downloads. And inside the downloads, we have uh, different options for Mac OS, Linux and Windows. I'm on my Windows, you can just download the exe file, get it installed and start up Olama. And on the taskbar you can see that Olama is running here. For the RAG settings, uh, we have the Nomic Embed text model that we have already downloaded. And uh, these are the system prompt for the configuration of RAG prompts. And this is a question prompt. For the web search, we have these prompts already uh, fitted in. Now for managing the models, we have different options. These are all the models which are downloaded on my system. We can delete the models directly from here. We can re-pull the model. 
so normally embed text is the embedding text model we have the latest uh, llama 3 or phi 3 latest which we will experiment with in just a second we can manage knowledge so we can add in our own knowledge base and this will be this is still processing i've added uh, a pdf file here this is ex this is processing and once it is processed it will show completed and then you can start asking questions on that document you can manage different prompts so i've created a new prompt known as a uh, kit prompt and so this in the style of a variable so you can put in the variable here manage share we can share uh, all the interactions that we have this is for the research purpose if you want to share the outputs of the prompt or if you want to share the conversations that you have with a model uh, for a project maybe and you can share your project with project idea with your partner so this is where you can use this so let's go to a new chat so i've selected llama 3 here and i select a prompt let's say kid prompt so i can say answer this in a style of a kid maybe uh, so i can say what is a black hole answer this in the style of a kid now let's wait for the results so this is the answer oh wow a black hole is like a uh, super cool and super scary at the same time so one important thing is that you don't expect the answers to be different than using llama 3 on your local system without the use of page assist it is just a tool which allows you to use conveniently and you won't get a different result the results are based on the models that we have downloaded that's for sure another thing that you can do is you can uh, allow the search internet here so i've done one test here so what i can say is what are the different states of matter so in this i've allowed the internet search and then you can see we get a link to the byjuice.com byjuice.com to get the answers here another thing that you can do is put an image and ask questions based on that image okay this was the web ui part we can also have the page here so you go and uh, go to the page assist and open up the side panel so you get the side panel as well so on this side panel what you can do is that chat with the current page and then you're going to um, select a model so we have already selected llama 3 here and then you can ask uh, let's say what are the text stacks here and press submit so this is going to read all the things which are mentioned on this page and come up with the answer you can come back to the chat history and see the outputs so give me the tech stack for this project as you can see we have the python html css grok deepgram and some zip files uh, requirements.txt environment file and then we need to do this so we have this post as well so this is used as a rag an instant rag whenever we chat here and you can see that this was the tech stack that i've used for this project this is how you use page assist to use your local llms as a web ui or as a sidebar you can have rag you can have um, image uploads voice uploads and uh, internet search so everything is available but the limitation and the results that you get is because of these models that you have and not because page assist assist you in some way or the other regarding inference so the inference is based on the models that you have that's a thing for sure and currently the supported um, browsers are given here so chromium chrome we have supports for sidebar chat with web page and uh, web ui brave firefox and uh, the vivaldi we can have other devices where in the edge device we have sidebar and the web ui for the opera we have web ui in the arc we have web ui only i think this is a great project and a great use case of olama a local llms running on your local system 
Now if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Please join the Patreon page if you want to support me for the work that I'm doing. And I will see you next time. Watch this next video on the function calling abilities of the Mistral models. This is a new technology and it has an embedded function calling abilities. Now that is huge. See you in the next video.